Hey, what's going on everyone? Tyler here. Today I'm going to show you just a real quick way how to save some hard drive space from, uh, with your R3D files. Um, this is really helpful for uh, maybe you're going through archiving your footage, but you know, as you're going through your footage, you're like, I, I want that like 10 seconds of this clip still in R3D format. Or if you filmed an interview on, on your red camera and you know, there's a a bunch of fluff in there that's like the you know asking questions or whatever the case may be and you want to don't need all that extra stuff in a 30 minute clip you only need like three minutes of it this will be really helpful for you as well now for this uh you're gonna definitely need to use red cine x pro uh that's red's uh red's software you can get it from their website and then to make well to make my life easier i do all the trimming in DaVinci Resolve and then, but you can use Premiere Pro or, a, you know, Final Cut Pro, whatever the case may be. And then we'll open up that timeline in Red Cine X Pro. So if you know how to do all that, then you can turn the video off now. But if you don't, then let's uh, let's take a look at this. So as you can see, uh, I got these clips right here. Uh, that is 70 gigabytes, uh, 70.62 gigabytes of footage. So we'll just drop this into a timeline on DaVinci Resolve real quick. So we got this right here. We've got a couple of clips. This is like, say, like a, a mock interview setup that I had for uh, Shutterstock tutorials. And say where the waveform here gets bigger, uh, you can see that maybe that's where she's talking. It's not, but let's just pretend for a second. So say we don't need this other stuff or maybe the interviewer was asking questions and that's where she finished talking. So we don't need any more of that. And then uh, say she doesn't start talking or the good part is until like right here. So we can cut all that out and then maybe this is the end and then we'll cut that out. So you can just see like this is just an example of maybe a bit of an interview that we we liked and this is all we needed and then say this is some some stuff for whatever that we want so we only need a little bit of this so we cut this down here and i'm just using keyboard shortcuts to make my life a little bit easier and then maybe i like maybe i like that part of the clip right there and then maybe i like that movement right there. So I cut that down basically to uh, one minute and 59 seconds as opposed to seven minutes. So we were at 70 gigabytes or whatever it was. I'm sure it's gonna cut down to like, you know, 12 or 15 gigabytes or something like that. So next up, what we've uh, kind of got what we like, now we can export this timeline. So my keyboard shortcut and resolve is to just do command to shift O. Then I've already got a, fo a folder set up right here, R3D trim. So we'll just call this R3D trim YouTube tutorial. And then go here and then I like to use Final Cut 7 XML V5 files. Seems to be the most stable. Some of these other versions, uh, Red Cine X Pro, once I open it, decides to crash a bunch. So this usually seems to work out good for me, but your mileage may vary. Okay, so we've exported that. So now what we need to do is we need to go open Red Cine X Pro, and then you're just opening up with uh, nothing going on. We don't have anything on here. So we'll go ahead and do Command I to import. And then we need to go find where the footage is. So very similar to uh, a, a DaVinci Resolve round trip if you're doing color grading, very similar. So these were all the, this is where all the files are. It's in this R3D trim folder. So we'll open that and then we'll click import. And then it's gonna ask us, okay, well, let's import the timeline. So this is that timeline that I saved right here, R3D trim YouTube toot. All right, so as you can see, now we've got all these clips right here. So um, you can see we've got three of those little interview clips and then all these cut down and then these two little clips right here cut down. So we're looking good there. So now we want to export these to make these still R3D files. Well, the cool thing in Red Cine X Pro is when you go to export, and I've already have done this before, so it's already default on R3D trim, but there's all these different formats. You can export it as ProRes or TPX files or JPEG, whatever the case, whatever you want to do. But I 
if I'm using R3D files, I just want to export it as R3D trim. So you click R3D trim and you can click the setup thing to make sure you save the camera audio or get rid of the audio if you don't need it, um, all that kind of good stuff. So you hit OK, you hit export, and then we'll just save it in this same folder as uh, you know where we were working before, where the clips, the originals are. So we'll just do the R3D trims. Oops. All right, and then click open. And as soon as you click open, it'll start turning through all those clips. And then if we go over to that, you can see that it's starting to export these files out. All right, so they are done. That was pretty quick. As you can see, um, we've got all these files. If we highlight them all, you can see that's 19 gigabytes, okay, a little bit more than I thought it would be, but 19 gigabytes, 19.4 to be exact, versus the 70.62 gigabytes. And as you can see, they have the RDC uh, extension at the end, so they still are R3D files. And just to prove that, we can hop over to Resolve. This is the timeline that we were just in. And if we wanna bring in all of these clips onto the timeline, as you can see, they are still the same R3D files. You got A003-057. 057 we're all good there and yep now they are all in r3d format and uh, just to show you what i'm talking about full res premium go to clip so we're at the very very end of the timeline here just to show you this clip right here and we still have all of the red controls so if you want to just change it to 1886 boom we're right there and we have R3D files that have been saved to a, a much smaller file size, but uh, the same quality as before. So super helpful. Uh, hopefully you found this helpful. That's pretty much it. Um, I know this is kind of like a boring tutorial, but I hope you found that helpful or useful. It definitely has saved me a, a lot of hard drive space. I mean, I'm like at minimum a terabyte, if not more. So it's definitely super handy. Um, yeah, so found that helpful let me know if not cool you're a genius or you just already knew this and you seem to be here still which is cool but thanks for stopping by hope to see you in the next video whenever that may be peace